Hey guys, welcome back for another unboxing. Um, okay, so I have had these two boxes from the beginning of the week and I just haven't had time to sit down and do a video for them. So I kind of feel bad, but I've been wanting to do them for you and show them to you. But um, yeah, I just haven't had time. Um, so I wanted to give you a few updates too. So before we get into this, I wanted to share a couple of things with you. Um, so I feel like I haven't posted as much as I've wanted to this week. And I guess I've gotten as many videos out as I usually do. But I just wanted to kind of share something with you guys. So I have done this, um, I've done my YouTube channel since April. And I have just gone like really hard and really fast for me. And um, so I've really developed um, carpal tunnel pretty bad. Actually, um, I've had that before. Um, I had kind of developed that before in my right um, wrist and hand um, from using my computer and my phone a lot, way too much, just overuse. And I've actually gotten it um, in my left hand now um, from holding my phone in my left hand. And I've had tendonitis before in my right elbow. So I might be oversharing with y'all. I'm just kind of trying to explain something. Um, so right now I've kind of gotten some wrist problems and some, some thumb joint tendon problems in my left hand. And then my right elbow is really acting up and I'm starting to get some wrist problems again in my right hand. So I've really kind of been in pain, obviously. I have really been in pain. I've been wearing my right wrist brace and the left wrist brace, and I've really been down about it because I feel like I've really, really been kind of stockpiling my Halloween bath bombs and bubble bars and things like that. And I feel like it's just, this has really been slowing me down and I'm kind of down about that and I've had to kind of take a few days off and rest and um, I feel like I'm just kind of wearing out my body and that just kind of happens when you overdo and when you get older so that just kind of sucks but anyway um <clears throat> so that being said um that's kind of what's going on with me personally um also I wanted to explain to you guys why especially if you're a vendor why I don't write written reviews down in the description box anymore I used to when I first started out but um I'm starting to do more videos like I said um Per week and I just I feel like at this point is kind of redundant because I'm a little more descriptive in my videos verbally and um, I just don't have the time to sit down and write and type like I said it's just it's harder on my hands and it takes more time so I can't get as many videos out as I want and I want to showcase as many products as I can so don't think that it's um, apathy on my part or I don't care as much about the products because I do I just need to go ahead and uh, do the demos and post them and get them out there because it will take me the, another day to write a full description because I do care that much. Um, so don't think that I don't care about the written description. It's just I really can't do that part anymore. I don't have it in me. I need to kind of cut corners a little bit somewhere in my videos and the written description is kind of where I'm doing that. Um, let's see. So um, my Halloween giveaway, I've been talking about that for a few weeks now. I wanted to do that um, at the beginning of next week, but it looks like it's going to be the first week of October because I'm waiting for some Sweet Shop of Horrors um, items to come in. They should be shipped um, on the 25th, which I'm excited about that. And they should only take just a few days to come in because she's really good about shipping things on time. And when she ships them, I think she ships in priority, but if not, they should just they should come in four or five days tops. Um, so I'm excited about getting some of her items in the giveaway because she has been sold out like crazy. She has gone viral twice and she's just been sold out. She's had to take pre-orders and I'm just really glad that I was able to get, um, get in on the pre-orders and get some orders in and be able to get some stuff for myself and for the giveaway, the Halloween giveaway. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's see, um, what else, what else? I think that's it. Um, I did want to share one other thing with you guys before I get started. Um, so, you know, I told you guys in one video that my ectoplasm 
bath bombs from Lush. They were such a fail. I did go ahead and write Lush and they got back to me and they said, okay, well, we'll go ahead and send you some replacement bombs for your trouble. And I said, well, go ahead and send me two sheet for the stars because they're like some of my favorite Lush bath bombs and I know they'll be, they'll be foolproof, right? Okay. So I want to show you guys, I got these a few days ago, right? In the mail. I want to show you guys what these look like. There's one. <laughs> I want your opinion to see if these are just totally jacked up. Now I realize these are bath melts and you know, it was hot. It wasn't like super hot. It was warm in my mailbox and they weren't in there like for two days or anything, but y'all, this is jacked up. I mean, come on. Now, even if these were melted, look at that. This is totally, completely lopsided like whoever made this bath bomb was like either drunk or just like had their eyes closed. They weren't paying attention. That's just like, that's some shoddy work. Like I'm getting these in replacement for something that was crap. You know, I mean, that's just, that's terrible. That's terrible. I mean, like if I wanted to, I would like complain again and say, listen, I mean, this is just embarrassing. Like if I wanted to do a shoot for the stars demo for you guys, like I've already done one, but I mean, I, they know cause they said they saw my video. I sent them the link to the ectoplasm. Like it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I want to know if y'all have been getting some junk from the UK side or even the North American side. This is just I don't know. I don't know. I just want to share that with you guys and get your thoughts. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. I'm just not getting crap from my indie vendors, so I was just wondering what y'all think. That being said, I've gotten some really good things from the holiday line um, that I've really enjoyed, and the demos that I've done, I've been really pleased with um, from the new line. So, I don't know. There's just, you know, rant over. Okay. Now, let me just start off with the candy panda. So, this is funny. This is funny. Okay. Um, so, this is my candy panda wax. Right? Okay. And all I ordered this last time was wax. I'm kind of done with the scrubs. I'm just not been pleased with the scents. They're not my favorite. Um, one of the last ones I got really, really liked. And it was really one of the only ones that I've liked, period. And I've gotten... A good six or seven of them and I've just de-stashed them or um, given them away as gifts or whatever. Um, so anyway, that's got little sunflowers on it, right? Look! Look at the sunflower soapery box. How cute is that? Okay, I digress. Anyway, so the scents I got that are all in here, I'll just show them to you real quick. Okay, so this one is Brunch at Granny's. Okay, and let me just find my notes real quick. Okay, so Brunch at Granny's. I like this one. I like all of these actually. This one is, it's tea and cakes with apple pie, cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. I've never had a tea and cakes. I know it's popular, but it just, it smells, it's, it's a fall scent. I smell the apples and spice and so I'm not sure, I guess what I'm saying is what the tea and cakes is supposed to smell like, but I was hoping I would smell that a little more and I really don't. But, um, okay, let's move on to the spiced apples and peaches. And that kind of is really self-explanatory. It says, um, it's sweet apples, peaches, and a hint of spice. And it's, that's really kind of, um, really more apples and spices. I don't really smell the peach in there that much, but it's, like I said, it's a nice fall scent. <clears throat> This one is Moose Tracks, and Moose Tracks is cinnamon, sugar, and vanilla. Um, this one, eh, it's not my favorite. It almost smells like it's got a little caramel in it, which, you know, it shouldn't, and I'm not really a big fan of caramel. I think it's kind of heavy. So many things in the fall have caramel in them. So, I don't know. It's okay. Um, Hocus Pocus is baked apple cider and I like this one it smells exactly just like baked apple cider so I think I'm really gonna like this one and of course I have five of each of these okay so I got um, okay we'll go to this one so I got Twilight and of course this is a lush dupe Twilight and um, I got this one and I wasn't going to because 
This is my favorite Candy Panda, or let's just say wax in general. The Don't Dream It's Over is the Candy Panda Lavender and Marshmallow, Toasted Marshmallow. Oh my God, it's just lavender, sweet lavender and marshmallow. It's just the sweet, beautiful lavender scent. So, I almost didn't get the Twilight because I thought, nah, you know, I already have my favorite lavender, whatever. But I thought, you know, who doesn't love Twilight? I know I like Twilight. I'm going to go ahead and get it. It's really not that different from the Don't Dream It's Over. It is so similar that I don't know that I'm going to be able to tell that much of a difference in the warmer. And on just cold sniff, I can't really tell that much difference. So, um, if you like Twilight, you will like this. If you try to get this, um, and it's sold out because obviously it's popular because it's a Lush dupe, um, you can get this or, you know, vice versa. I'm just telling you these are super, super similar. So anyway, um, those are my waxes and I pretty much like them all. Um, I didn't get any samples, which I thought was kind of weird because they always throw in a couple of samples. But anyway, let's get to what I'm the most excited about, which is my first, my very, very first order from the Sunflower Soapery, which looks very nicely packaged. It's been killing me to wait like five days to open this, and I have. I've waited. Okay, and I think she is on break right now. Um, her Etsy shop is taking a short break. so pretty so pretty okay so I think I got four I think I got four from her and hers just look oh they look so good she had some so she released a bunch of really awesome looking bombs in the summer and I didn't grab any then but um so she released all these really cool awesome looking coffin bombs and I was like yeah I'm all over those and I think those are all gone and that's why she's just she's kind of you know, on a break now because I guess, I guess they're all gone. Okay. Um, so let's see, let's see where are my notes, where are my notes for sunflower. Okay. So, oh my goodness. I'm not sure I know which ones these, oh, okay. They're on the back. Okay. So this one is whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Okay. And this one is lavender, vanilla, and tonka. So this is kind of like the twilight scent. Um, which, yeah, lavender and vanilla. Okay, so that's funny because Twilight is kind of obviously is like, like a Nightmare on Elm Street kind of theme. That is so awesome. I'm assuming that this is, I don't know if it's either, um, I'll have to ask her if this is a, um, like a bubble frosting or a bath melt. I'm not exactly sure, but that looks like it's going to be some awesome colors and really moisturizing and bubbly and it's just... My coffin bombs have not been coming in perfectly lately, and this looks perfect. Okay, so this one is, oh, this is so, oh, this looks, okay, this is Mr. Bones. That is gorgeous. It's copper. That shimmer is totally copper. I've never seen anything like that, any color like that on a bomb. Okay, he is berry and vanilla. Juicy ripe red berries and sweet creamy vanilla. Yeah, I can't smell anything. These are obviously they're wrapped up so so well, but like I said, they're just they're perfect. Look at them. It's like lime green with little green, dark green dots. That's these these are awesome. Love. Look at the skull. I wonder if that's soap. Okay. So glad I ordered these. Okay, so this one is obviously, obviously Red Rum, The Shining. Awesome. Look at that. That looks like you want to eat it. That looks like red velvet cake to me. Um, okay, so this is a blend of red cherries and creamy vanilla. Now, I can't really smell that either. That's awesome. It's perfect shape. Perfect shape. Now, the key is for me not to mess it up when I open the bomb for the demo. But those are, those are so solid. Okay, and the last one is Pumpkin Patch. God, this is huge. Look, that is huge. It fits just across both of my hands, and it's heavy, too. I can't imagine that this would float. Just, you know, physics. Um, okay, so sweet and spicy blend of pumpkin, vanilla, clove, and cinnamon. I can smell, I can smell the spice in there. That is just, I mean, this 
topping is as big as the bomb, I feel like. I love that. I love these are awesome. Now, this one, I don't know. I may not get to this one in October because I've tried to plan out my October schedule with all the bombs I've stockpiled, and I'm kind of running out of days. So I'm going to try to have a really, really big, busy week next week. Another thing, I know this video is getting long, but I feel like I just need to kind of tell y'all um, a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm going to try, try, try to do another sugar scrub video next week. I've gotten so many in, and I was waiting for my very last one that I wanted to, um, to get in to include in this video. So I'm going to try, and this kind of kind of entailed to do one of those, but I'm going to try and do one before October hits because I just want to do Halloween, Halloween, Halloween in October. Oh, one more thing. So I'm going to kick off October with a bomb that I think is going to be spectacular. It's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be awesome. I don't think anybody else has one of these bombs. I don't think anybody else has one. I don't think there's another one demoed anywhere on YouTube, Instagram, anywhere. I think it's gonna be awesome. So, I got it earlier this week with these bombs, but I haven't unboxed it. Not gonna unbox it, not gonna show it to you, because I want it just to be awesome to kick off October and just kind of my Halloween series demos and all that. So, um, if you're the vendor who sent it to me, you know who you are and why I haven't unboxed it and um, hopefully you will be excited to see it demoed. But anyway, um, I think that's it. Let me double check my notes and make sure that I've given y'all all my updates. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it, you guys. Um, I was just happy that I could give away that little Lush Holiday um, giveaway that I did earlier this week because I really have enjoyed, like I said, um, in between the jelly bomb fails for me and <laughs> these ones that we're so sorry that I got in place of those, all the new holiday stuff I really have enjoyed and I wanted to go ahead and share that with y'all before this Halloween, this big Halloween giveaway um, because it is the only one I'm going to do in October and um, so I'm, I'm glad that I could do that. So I think that's it. I know this was long. Um, it's typical of, of me, even though there's not much product, but I just wanted to go ahead. I don't feel like I can talk to you guys during the demos about various things because I'm just really trying to showcase the product. But anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll just see you guys for the next demo. Talk to you later. Bye.